Am I a magician or what?
Let's wait. So, did you miss the city? Me neither. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. What is this foolishness? Open this gate! Right. No one can keep us from entering the cemetery. It's a free country. Well, how long are you going to keep wagging your chins? If it's closed, it's closed! Oh, Mr. Shulsky, finally! Why is the cemetery closed? Ah. Uh, I won't talk about it out here in front of these boors. Come inside. You're letting him in, Gravedigger? What the hell is going on? Shut your mouths or I won't open till Judgment Day. This is about your father, you know. All right, let's see what this is about. Bah! What did my father do this time? I've got two pieces of news, so to speak. There's bad news, and I'm not sure what the other one is. Which do you want to hear first? Tell me the bad news. Today some rebel rousers came here and started making trouble. They ravaged your family too. What do you mean, ravaged? I couldn't believe it either. I sent you a note immediately. What about the other news? One night, I went out and saw the dead lying around. But not in their places, you know? In the pathways. And then I saw their graves dug up, as if the dead crept right out of the ground. And these bodies are still lying here? No, of course not. You can't do that. But if you want to learn more about the case, they might come out again tomorrow night. People are starting to talk about resurrections and the end of the world. Resurrections and now these maniacs! Judgment Day seems to be upon us, you know? Those vandals that ravaged the tomb, what did they look like? I closed the gate because they're still hanging around there. Why don't you see for yourself, you know? According to my knowledge, dead bodies don't rise on their own. Were there any witnesses? Any noise at night? Traces? Nothing. Just the stiffs in odd places. Goodbye. Get rid of this scum at once!
Oh, darn it. Look at him. I think he's a real, you know, tempromancer. I'll show you how you talk to magicians. Are you so eager to die, Tempermancer? And who are you, anyway? We're the ones who purge the world from scum like you! I'm a bit sorry now, but I think you will be too, in a moment. You heard him. He asked for it. Get him! Let's take a look around.
Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Hey, Valush, look what they cut dragged in. God damn. Are you the ones disturbing the dead and strewing the bodies all over the graveyard? No. Not dead. We are professionals. We've got the troublemaker here. I bet he'll call the Undertaker. That's too bad. Are you from the anti Society? We don't care if they're magicians or not. Uh, Steve is a Steve. The Gravedigger will be surprised to see all this looting. Fuck, I knew Thursday would be no good. Don't be a sissy. It'll be all over soon. I'll take the coat. I'll take the cloth hoppers.
There's something odd nearby. Jesus, don't scare me. I'm just here to see if the dead are lying down as they should. You gave those lads by the tomb a good belting, huh? I could hear the echoes. Thank you, but they weren't too keen to talk, and I have a few questions to ask. Maybe I could help, you know? What is the WAS? Those fellas at the mausoleum were connected with it. Ah, the Warsaw anti thaumaturge Society. Loonies, you know. Ever since your father was laid to rest here, they've been yelling their heads off by the walls. Where can I find their bosses, you know? Why, do you smell blood? There's one behind the cemetery wall inciting the crowd. Ask him. Once you have cleaned up near the mausoleum, I can open the gate. It's a rather grim job you've got here. Well, you know. I'd rather do this than struggle with drunkards in a bar or bolts in a factory. The dead are calm and predictable, you know? Unless they start rising from the grave, that is. I searched the area. Grave robbers are more of a separate issue. But I learned something about the rising corpses. I'm dying of curiosity. Do you understand? It seems that the corpses are helped in the wanderings by someone who knows the cemetery well and keeps their tools here. Hold on. My hands are clean. And is frustrated by how little you pay him. Eh? He's my assistant. Are you saying he's involved in this? Yes. Where can I find him? And he probably drinks with those friends of his own in Green Square. That louse. If you meet him, tell him he's fired. Goodbye. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get rid of him.
Have you been feeling tired lately? Yes. Have your wives been hysterical? Your chickens getting sick? Milk going sour for no reason. Yes! That's all caused by tempermancy. Curses, black magic, evil energy. You don't believe it? Here's proof. Ever since that tempermancer was buried here, the dead have been rising from the graves. It's a sign that the apocalypse is coming. For more details on the rapidly coming end times, please visit our office. Are you the one giving orders to the WAS? Look who's here. A magician tempermancer. The enemy of humankind. The ruiner of good fun and the vanquisher of children's smiles. I'll ask again, who is in charge of this circus? The President told us what you are. If you want to ask him about something in person, have a look at the brochure like the others. You know how to read, right? If the cemetery is sacred to you, why don't you explain desecrating other people's tombs? This is all your fault. The black energy has polluted this earth. The dead are outraged by it. We need to ward off the evil powers. I see. So I'll need to look for reasonable answers someplace else. You have no right to speak. You have no right even to stand here on hallowed ground. I must disagree with some of your points. Like what? The dead rising from the graves. Maybe, but not on their own. Someone is helping them. There are some very living grave robbers prowling around here. What else are you going to come up with to whitewash yourself, you damned magician? See what kinds of conspiracy theories he comes up with? I'm the one coming up with them? That's it. I've had it. Demon! Devil! Let's get him sorted! I can feel my milk going sour at home. Come on, brothers. Let's put him in his place. Afterwards, pop into our headquarters for some coffee and pastries.
Which one of you is Lech? I am. What's your business? Digging out the cemetery at night. I know you're the one digging up bodies from graves. Valush and his crew are also friends of yours. What? I have no idea who you're talking about. Maybe he's drunk. It's some lunatic. We have no choice, fellas. He's asking for a beating. Virgin, save me! What do you want from me? Why do you disturb the dead? Aren't you ashamed? I won't do it again, really. But it wasn't my idea, I swear. They told me to. And as for Valush and his people, they're tight with the carpenter. He builds coffins in the nearby yard. Who told you to do it? Oh, this one guy. Konyechne. 
Vladimir Konechny, the head of this whole WAS. People won't find out who defaced the graves of their loved ones on one condition. Thank you, God, thank you. What do you need? I need you to tell me something. Why did the Vojimish make you dig up the corpses? Well, the way I see it, he wanted to scare people. And it worked, didn't it? I think I need to have a chat with Vojimish. Oh, since you're going there, can you tell him I'm still waiting for the money? He said he'd get it from membership fees, so he can't say he doesn't have any. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier? I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pant legs and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulski, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And Mr. Shulski, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Povonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right.
That wasn't too hard. Sweet Jesus, don't scare me. I'm just here to see if the dead are lying down as they should. Goodbye. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get rid of them. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Come in. Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir.
I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. Fill out forms A1, B, and D12, pay the entry fee. Hey, he's a magician! Who's the head of this shit house? I am. Wojimir Konieczny, chairman of the Warsaw anti thaumaturg Society. And you are either extremely insolent or stupid to come here, Tempermancer. My papa liked the word Tempromancer. He was very hopeful it would catch on in Polish. I'd love to see his face right now. Can you get to the point? I have come here to settle the score with the vampires and fanatics. And I don't see any vampires here. Noble candidates, your initiation is about to commence. Grab the magician. We won't let you down.
enough, you demon. You've proved to everyone that you're a menace to humankind. Even a small kitten may scratch when provoked. See? He's already messing with our minds. That demagogue is turning everything on its head. Cover your ears so that he doesn't poison your minds. Do you want to keep lying? <laughs> All you skeptics, look! Have you seen this thaumaturge? I have witnesses! Mr. Konyechna, you're our hero. Down with thaumaturgy. Jesus, don't scare me. I'm just here to see if the dead are lying down as they should. First of all, the WAS won't mess around here anymore. Did you send them to hell where they belong? They ask for it. Right. Better not mess with magicians, huh? They won't be running rampant here anymore. But now that it's all over, would you be so kind as to make a donation? For the cemetery, of course. And to make sure important notices reach you as quickly in the future. I'll be gracious. Please write a letter to my sister. She'll send you a check. Thank you for looking kindly on an honest man. If you do expire someday, I'll get you the most exquisite hearse. God bless, Mr. Shulsky. the city? Me neither. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. stake for when your life is at stake. Make any vampire quickly retire. An aspen stake for you, sir? Premium wood carved at midnight on the solstice. They're cheap. The stakes are exquisite, I must admit. What else do you sell? Holy icons, miraculous Marys, salt. Table salt? Consecrated, but the stakes, I tell you, sir. Ever since they buried the magician, they've been selling like hotcakes. 
Anyone with some sense buys them. Do you believe in all of this? I believe in money. And if people are willing to buy a stick out of fear, then who am I to argue? Vampires? I don't think so. What do you mean? The dead rising at the cemetery? They must be vampires! Vampires are salutors attracted by blood and sizzling passion. There's nothing interesting for them among the dead. It's what people believe that matters. Goodbye. I hope the vampires don't take revenge on you. They have no interest in me. I'm anemic. Hey, please, tell your friends. On Wednesdays, I sell four steaks for the price of two. Talkative gentleman. Sit down, please. Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I'm not sure. Maybe too much pomade? You know, it's all the rage now. But that's all right. We'll change it. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied.
Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. It smells so nice in here. Is that vanilla? Vanilla, raisins, butter, sugar, and some more butter. You're in heaven. Can I help you? Mrs. Yagoda, it's me, Victor. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Little Victor. Oh my, how you've grown. And how handsome you've become. Where is that little cherub who would stand in front of the display, staring at pastries? Mrs. Yagoda, as a grown man, I can confess that it was never the sweets. It was about you. Devil. But to be honest, I have a daughter, so if you ever... Excuse me, I'm waiting for my order here. No reason to be angry, darling. Just wait a moment. My daughter is taking the fruitcake out of the oven now. It will be hot. With raisins and orange peel? I'll wait then. Are you sure you're not a thaumaturge? Let that be my sweet secret. That is all, thank you. Goodbye. Don't you want to take anything sweet home with you? Well, as you wish. Boss, we need to start over. The whole base layer. What's that a stomping cut out here for? You're making my people angry. Can't you see the work is in full swing here? I'm just passing by. Do you have a problem with that? I have a problem with people like you not giving a shit about people like me who work for people like you. And when in fear, then it's workers on the world unite. Why don't you start a fucking revolution? Get lost! We want to earn our daily bread. I'm sorry. I'll get going. If you step in here one more time, I won't be so nice anymore. Kit, take these dingoes and level it out now. Arise, ye prisoners of starvation! Did it, I tell you? You've been for it, fucker? I did it on purpose. Just you wait. We could use some exercise after all that carrying. Are you sure, boss? Tis the final conflict.
Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait until... 
So, let's kill some time. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Hello. Indeed, fanciable. Up close, I would even say a solid A to a new. I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoothing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch in looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five... Zero, there's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, I can tell. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard either. Sir, you have the unique opportunity of becoming a ten.
Do you call this a proper time for a visit? What's going on? My name is Viktor Shulski. Sir and madam are already in bed. Come back in the morning like someone respectable. Fear not, I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Intriguing. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you, my dear hostess Aniela Narodzinska and my dear friend Viktor Shulski. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. What brings you here? But you were the one who phoned. Very funny. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narodzinski door is always open to you.
Yes, sir. Secrets, not on my watch. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. Promising. But you can't keep wearing the same attire. Please, come back to me if you find more inspiration. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I won't bother you. All right. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? 
I won't bother you. All right. Secrets, not on my watch. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. There we have it.
Well, there we have it. You're not from round here, I can see. Good evening. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. I got it. I'll see myself out. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Ja,